Hello everyone and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome back to the Dolph Ziggler. Oh, I just apparently I opened up a season ticket thing. Oh, I missed there. Okay. As we get, we get ready for Dolph Ziggler's Road to Glory, it's coming to an end. Unfortunately, his high school season is coming to an end after the next episode, which also will take place today. That means Saturday, there's a possibility you could be see. We'll find out on po on Saturday. We're gonna find out where's Dolph gonna go. Yes, but before we go, we have to take on his final two opponents, which will be again will be. The first one is gonna be the Cutler Racers. Will be his first opponent. But they all won't be in one episode, no. We're gonna do it the classic format. The only The only time that's happened is Luigi's, which we're gonna see you're gonna see him more of him tomorrow. And plus, after I'm done with this, we're gonna have a throwing Braylon Bird in there. And then we're gonna see Eddie's debut with the Los Angeles Lakers. I swear I did not expect this to happen. Uh, he's a Laker. <sighs> so here we go as we get ready to take on Cutler. As we get set to go, this is Dahl's last road game of his high school of his high school career. As we get set for him to go. As here we go, halfback dive. To start things off. So I guess they want to race it off here. And we got a nice beautiful backdrop here for Dolph's game here. And there's Nugent. And there's a second and two. So Dolph finally gets his first passing opportunity of the day. So Ziggler. He's going to... Oh, and he is going to throw it to West Becker. And there's a first down opportunity for Hollywood High School. So it's time for the stick call here. Uh, so here we go, Dolph. And here he goes. Dolph's going to throw it to Hendelstein. And there's another first down. Of course, Dolph won the beat the clock challenge on Raw the other night. And now he has, you know, he's totally screwed again. They, they acknowledge he has money in the bank. When is he going to cast that in? Again, why they haven't cast that? He hasn't cast that in. So what happens if he cashes it, cashes it in on the, in the Royal Rumble? Which I could see that po a possible scenario. A possible scenario, then Dolph would, would stop the fight in the Royal Rumble. Since he's already in. That makes no sense. So here we go, and here we go. There's a throw to Hendelstein and touchdown Spartan. And just like that, Hollywood strikes first, draws first blood. So, four. So it's time for the PA streaks here. And there's a throw, and it's going to be caught by Handelstein. And there's a Steen, and that's a first down. And a 52 yarder right there. So, way to go, Dolph. So, he needs the man, is in the man in motion. And here we go. So it's time for the curl flats and uh, you know what, forget, forget Braylon. Forget Braylon. So Braylon's not going to be in our schedule today. So here we go and we got a nice throw but he has failed to convert it. So it's time for the wide receiver post. Yeah, so Hollywood continues. And there it is and he doesn't convert it. And it's still a 7-0 lead for Hollywood. So they went three and out. 
on our on our play possession here. So here we go, slants, and here we go. We got to throw to Hendelstein, and there's a first down. So it's time for the zone week. So Eugene's gonna get some more action here. Second and 11, and he blows it. So it's time for the PA streaks once again. So here it is, going to be incomplete. Ugh. So Dolph 6 for 11 right now, so it's kind of pathetic. For Dolph to underperform. And especially when he throws a dumb play like that, which is going to get Hollywood back in the game. Get Cutler back in the game. Pardon me, excuse me. So here we go. So Dolph. He's probably going to be too predictable. Who's he going to throw it to? And it almost got picked. So Dolph is starting to choke. So Dolph is choking up right now because after that good first drive, nothing's gone right for him in the second half. So that means most of these schools probably do not want him at this point. So he finally gives it to West Becker, but it was too late. So, so the Cutler Erasers continue to struggle while Dolph's having struggles of his own. Figuring out who to pass it to. Then he throws it to West Becker by freak accident and it came out to good gain. A good gain of eight yards. So it's time for the bubble screen, which Dolph's probably thinking he's she should run this because it's second and two. What could be go wrong what could go wrong? And actually turned out it worked. And that was a first down for Hollywood. So here we go, quick slant. And Ablo was good by defending. So now the coaching staff saying, the coaching staff saying, Nugent, you're going in. So here we go. Nugent goes, and it's third and six. So it's time for the slot post. There's a throw, and he wasn't ready. Jeez, can you guys quit? Dolph continues to make good plays. Instead, the execution is not working. And there you go, and there you go, and he got sacked. All right, but two yards. So it's time for the flanker drive, which means Dolph can get a potential another touchdown here. So here we go. So here we go. And he got picked off by Johnson. Just when you think it can't get any worse, it did. But luckily they didn't convert, so as it's, as it's 2.33 left to go in a second, still 7-0. So, still 7-0. Still 7-0, and it's a fumble, and the defense recovers. And now the Spartans get a free shot to score, and they used it. So it is 7 0 due to Dolph's mistake. And so it's the score's tied at 7. Due to Dolph's big mistake, and the Cutler fans are saying thank you. And they. So it's first down, so they're getting. They're storming back here to make sure they get the lead back. Because don't forget, Hollywood's undefeated. There's a throw to Cano, and he's gone. Or maybe not, but still a first and goal opportunity nonetheless. And there's Nugent, and there's not another touchdown. When are we going to argue that? That should be a, that's an arguable call for a touchdown. And Dolph blew it. So it's time for the inside cross. So this is technically the Spartans' last chance to take the lead. Otherwise, they're going to have to settle for a field goal. 
And there's West Becker, and there's a touchdown for Hollywood. And just like that, they have a they have a 14 to 7 lead. So it's time for the slot outs. And boy, the defense really did a good job. And there's Nugent. And there's a fumble. And Bonds has it. And the Spartans get the ball back. And it is a and now it's a tie game again. Oh boy. So things are getting a little interesting here. And there's Hendel Stein, and look what we got here. He's he's not coming back. And a, another touchdown for Hollywood. And just like that, the races are storming back, but the Spartans say, I don't think so. It's for a 75-yarder, and that was a big score there for Hollywood. So here we go. PA, PA wide receiver in. And we... And there's a throw to Keeney. And there's a first down. So only three touchdowns and one interception. So that could be a, a potential. That might scare off a couple of schools of that performance. And there's Cano. And there's a second and five. So here we go. And there's a throw to Hendelstein, and there's a first down. So here we go, quick slants. And there's Hendelstein, and first down. Uh, for the PA Power Zero has he has now starting to get regain his post for nine consecutive passes. That's how long the streak is so far. And there's West Becker, ten and almost a touchdown. So Nugent's gonna get a shot at this one. And this is probably gonna extend the lead. To a differential of 13. As the Spartans start to wake up. As it is now 28-14. And now with 17 seconds left. They could put this away. They can potentially put this away. And there's Keeney and he dropped it. And there goes Dolph Streak. No ways to die. There's West Becker and he dropped it again. So four verticals in the bathroom. So here we go. Here we go, four verticals. Right here, right now. And there's a good throw right there. It's going to be dropped. Uh, with four seconds left. The racers continue to struggle. Oh, that's the truck. And there's a throw to Cano, and he's going to get he reached the first down marker. Nope, second and in inches. So here's Dolph trying to make it move, and here we go, and boom. First down. Here we go, Sluggos. Here we go. So can't get one touch. Another touchdown can potentially seal the deal for for Hollywood. And right now at this point, it looks like it may be close, fighting close to the end. So 28-14 here for Dolph Ziggler. And there you see a throw, and there's Keeney, and there's the first down. Now it's time for the PA Power Zero as we are closing in on the end zone. There's Keeney. No, not quite. So the, the coaching staff says, you know what? We've seen enough, Dolph. 
you, you keep screwing up. And what the hell is a blue wahoo? Okay, okay. And oh, don't worry. Next Monday, before Raw, you guys will see the final minor league games of the MLB 2K12 because MLB 2K13 is coming out. And there's Wes Becker and a touchdown! And at this point, the game's technically over. And it is 34 to 14. What? How do we miss the PAT? How do you miss a, something as simple as a PAT? Are you serious, bro? And there's second and four opportunities, so it's power zero. So at this point, the coaching staff saying, Sorry, Dolph, we have this in the bag. So let's give Nugent all the attention. Um, you do realize Dolph's the senior and Nugent's a freshman. Give him the time he needs. And he says he's getting so ticked off that he wanted to try it again. Nope. They still said, sorry Dolph, Nugent's going to get the action. Screw you. So there's another second down right there. And they're giving it to Dolph again. And they're calling another timeout to make sure Dolph gets the ball. But instead... The coaching staff again says Nugent gets more attention, and Dolph got the big screw you. And and there's a third and two opportunity, so then now they give Dolph the, oppor the opportunity to, th to throw the ball. And here we go, Dolph going to throw it to West, has throws it to West Becker, and there's a first down with less with 68 seconds left. So we're in the red zone. So here we go. And there's Nugent and there's a and there's a no gain. And for some reason they said it was a good idea just to keep giving it to Nugent. So here we go, and there's Nugent. And there it is, and a third and six. Duh. You know what? Since we haven't seen it in this episode, let's do it. Low motion, and he didn't do it. So it's 37 to 14, and the Spartans win a very contested game, 37 to 14. The races go 8 and 0. Oh. So now it is time to find out where, where is Dolph going to. And yes, I heard of Online Dynasty, but I can't get season ticket for some reason. So here we go. So we're going to find out what team as Alabama Scott uh, finally offers him. But right now at this point, he's probably giving up on it. So as you can see, we have a lot of schools to think of here. We have North Carolina, Doug Flutie School, which again, you probably won't be seeing that for a, a little while. Tennessee and Penn State. And my phone is ringing, so I'll answer that in just a second. And as Dolph chooses Penn State. So that is it. And I'll be answering my phone, so come back next time as Dolph takes on Titusville, and I'll see you guys in a